Message for you, Diego. Thank you, Bolita. Military captured a Yankee stealing firearms. He's to be tried this morning by the council. They want us there. Who is he? Kayla. Kayla? Why, he's an hereditary leader of the tribe. Very popular with the Yankees. But that trial will be a farce anyway. Don Delora will use his influence with the counselors to free Kayla. Perhaps you're right. And if so, it may help us to uncover Don Delora. The counselors who plead for a light or suspended sentence will be the ones connected with Don Delora. If we follow them, they may lead us to him. Case of the State versus Kayla. A Yankee charged with violating Statute 419 of the Civil Code, specifically stealing firearms. There's a surprising number of Indians defying this law. True. 
presents a grave situation, especially as the Yaki seem to be completely under the influence of Don DeLauro. I strongly recommend the full penalty of the law be imposed in this case. But the penalty calls for only 30 days imprisonment. So light a sentence will never stop the Yankees from arming themselves. What do you recommend? That we enact a new penalty, imposing the death sentence on all violators of this law. But gentlemen, Taylor is the prince of the Yankee tribes, greatly beloved by his people. To execute him for so slight an offense would make the Indians like us even less than they do now. We want their obedience, not their affection. I propose that Kayla be hanged in the public square tomorrow morning. Excellent. Make an example of him. I also agree. Show the Yankees they cannot break our laws and live. We have little to fear from that quarter, except bloodshed and death. So Kayla's execution will so arouse the Yankees that they will storm and overrun San Mendolito in their fury. This hanging must be prevented at all costs. But it's a task for only a few of us. Much depends upon the rescue of Kayla. If we fail, the Yankees will engage in a war of revenge with Don DeLauro as their leader. I want four volunteers to help rescue Kayla. We'll draw for it. Horrible, isn't it? Indeed it is.
this is some of Zorro's work. Zorro, but for you, I would have died. Kayla's life belongs to his white brother. Then listen, Kayla. Listen to your blood brother. Kayla listens. Don Delora wanted you to die so that he could lead your people on a war of revenge. Lead them to death and ruin. No. Don Deloro takes care of his children. Then why did he leave you to be hanged? Your brother knows that the god you worship has been defiled by a white man. Think now. For many years, your god slept. Then suddenly he rose, walked, and spoke. His words urge your people to forget the years they lived in peace with their white brothers and to war upon them. Those words were not the wish of your true god, but came from the white man who had stolen into Don Dolores' body. You must save your people from death and destruction. Let me expose this false god. Take me with you to Don Dolores. I will take my brother to Dandalaro. Good. But no one else. If you are wrong, Dandalaro will kill you. Don't go. The risk is too great. No risk is too great if it's taken from Mexico. Ride to San Mendolino and wait for me. Dandelaro's cave is beyond that rock. Good. See, it's empty. Come, see for yourself. Summon your people. Men of the tribes, listen to Kayla. Zaro has proven to me that Don Deloro is a false god. Wait! With my own eyes, I have seen the shell of gold. Don Deloro's body, empty and helpless. Even now, it rests in the cave. Come see for yourselves. We will go. For if you speak with a crooked tongue, you will die.
See, there's nothing to fear. Death to the unbeliever. Cut them or I'll shoot. Don Devereaux, God of the Akin, cannot be harmed.